Welcome back, I'm the Watch King. On this video, we are going over why buy the 1908. This is a watch that is extremely popular uh, because they discontinued the Cellini and made this watch. And at the beginning, I really loved it. I got offered a few and then I just, I kind of thought about it and the amount of money that these things are going for is absolutely ridiculous. So without further ado, let's hop straight Jumping into right it. into it. We're gonna put the day date to the side for a second because I understand why it's different than 1908, right? Because they make a modern day day date, uh, very iconic solid gold. And it's, it's perfect for a lot more occasions than just a 1908. 1908 is a dress watch. Uh, very much a dress watch with its leather strap. This could be used. Technically, it has water resistance, but I would never take it in the water, but people do all the time uh, by the pool and stuff like that. So we're going to put this here. Then we're going to talk about this is more of something uh, to the extent of the 1908, right? This is an original, uh, all original Rolex, right? This one particularly is from the 1930s. You normally would have the case back uh, it would have the serial number right there, but somebody engraved it all the, those years ago. This one, of course, before the Cellini line, as you see here. So this is what, insp uh, I guess you can say, inspired the 1908. This is these exact type of watches. So uh, this one and others, you can pick up the originals, by the way, for a crazy amount less. We're talking... Uh, the 1908, I believe the Platinum's are around 30 grand retail. And then the other ones are like really expensive. I think they were going for when I was offered over retail. So I think somebody offered it to me at 28,000, 26,000. It was a crazy amount for the white gold. Um, and then these watches are great looking, but why wouldn't you want an original? Now, this is a square one. It is a men's size. This is something, or I'll just show it to you on my wrist. That is a men's sized watch, right? Women can also wear it, but that is a men's watch. Uh, but at the same time, let's say you don't like that. Uh, it's actually square more than a rectangle. The square type of shape. You want something like the round. Well, there are so many options, even post Cellini and pre Cellini, like this one, that you can find out there. And they are significantly less than uh, the other pieces out there. So uh, then I should say the, the 1908. Even in recent history, right, uh, the Cellini line, right, the discontinued one, the moon phase is something way more complicated and, in my opinion, way nicer uh, from horology standpoint that it's not even comparable, but people really like the 1908. And I think it's just the hype. I think it's the hype culture, them discontinuing the Cellini because that was a quote unquote dog for a very long time. Uh, and then doing that. Now the day date's another value factor altogether. You're getting a gold bracelet, you're getting a sportier watch, but it's all solid gold. They make, of course, white gold, platinum, uh, and rose gold nowadays with, with the... Uh, Rolex Day Date. I like these way more. You can pick this one up with a special dial for less than 20, right? Uh, and you're getting such a steal, in my opinion, because you're buying an historic piece of art. It's basically art on the wrist, right? That's what it is, wearable art. That's what watches are. So that is that wraps it up. I mean, that is essentially what it is. Buy what you love, Right, if you're gonna buy a 1908, I'm not gonna dog on you. I get it. Uh, maybe you want to get in good graces with your ID, or you just really like that watch. Right, there are people that bought Cellinis, or people. It doesn't matter. But personally, me especially, do not pay over retail for this watch. Right, do not, do not, do not. I told the guy right away, not interested, because the 1908 is going to go down to retail and below. It's just a fact. Right, I don't know how many they're producing. But it's not gem set. It's not. And Rolex produces a lot of watches. Maybe they'll keep it down, but it still doesn't matter. Just don't go and rush into it. Make sure you can definitely get them through your official dealer. Just take your time. It's not one of those watches that is going to be going crazy. And don't spend more than what it's worth. I'm always about that, right? I don't mind people paying retail for a watch. I mean, I tell them all the time, you know, pick it up. Uh, gray market i mean these are vintage right these you can't even 
but even a, a new version of the day date, right? A bit used, uh, you can always get it a bit cheaper. Uh, depends on the color and the size. Uh, mostly 36 go under. But, you know, if you want to buy brand new, you're the first one to put scratches on it. I completely understand that. Just don't pay over. That is completely ridiculous and something I, I never got. And that's why I do vintage. So in concluding this video, I want to thank you all for watching. If you're looking for something like this, the original type of 1908 look or something like this gorgeous day date, go check out the watchkingofficial.com. I'll put up a picture there. So uh, thank you. And I will definitely catch you in the next one. Have a great day.